Block printing with vegetables is something I'm sure most of us have tried when we were kids. You must be knowing all about the calf potato trick and of course your own thumb. Such has been your understanding of making prints. But have you ever considered how these everyday objects can be used to make graphic and beautiful block printed fabrics, papers, accessories and home decor? Hi, I'm Monisha and thank you for the overwhelming response on our previous video about block printing with wooden blocks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to block print using vegetables. I'm going to give this plain dull table runner a makeover by making stamps out of potatoes. It's the most versatile vegetable for carving out prints. I'll start by laying a newspaper as the process is going to be a bit messy. Now take a potato, preferably a medium size and cut it into half lengthwise. Take one half of the potato and cut it into a wedge shape like this. Now do you see I have two wedge pieces? I'll leave the first piece as it is and carve the second piece to make vertical stripes. To carve this piece, cut two straight lines next to each other slightly deep to carve the piece out. Follow this process carefully. This is how it should look like. To print the design, I am using a green color and a blue color. Now I will go ahead and decide the pattern on a piece of paper. I will first print with the plain stamp using a green color. Making sure I am matching the straight line of the stamp with the straight line of the paper vertically to resemble a D shape. Now I'll repeat the same thing with the curve of the potato meeting at the center forming a C next to the D. Using the second stripe block with blue color, I'm horizontally matching the straight lines of the stamp with the straight line of the paper. Do the same thing below in the opposite direction. It is okay if you mess up a little bit because that is what is going to make it more personal. Once I final the design, I'll stamp it all over the table runner following the same process. This is how my final table runner looks like. You see the green color has changed a bit, that's because of the drying process. Your guests will be shocked to know you have made this print using a potato. I'm also going to show you how to make a cactus print and a flower print using a potato. To start with the cactus print, take three different sizes of potatoes and cut them into half. I'm using three different shades of green. You can use any color you want. I'm going to print on a paper. To start, place the medium sized potato to make the base. I'm using a pale green color for it. Now place the biggest potato with a dark green color on the left hand side over the base print. Go ahead and use the smallest potato just above the biggest one on the left side and the same potato with the light green color on the right side. Place the medium potato next to the base print with the dark green color. To finish the design, I am placing the smallest potato on the medium one. For the final touch, I will paint small white dots on the cactus using a thin brush. I have followed the same process and printed a cactus on a t-shirt and I love how it's turned out. To make the flower print, I'm using a half cut potato. All you need to do is carve small V with the point of the V towards the center of the potato. Follow the same process for the entire potato and this is how it should look like. I'm going to be using two different shades of pink, starting with the lightest shade and gradually moving towards the darkest shade. This is how the print looks like on a tote bag. Now I have shown you enough prints using a potato. I am going to show you how to create blocks using a capsicum and a cabbage. To start with the capsicum print, cut the capsicum in half. Now this is going to be my final block. I am going to be printing directly on the cushion cover, but before I start printing, I'll put a paper between my cushion cover 
so the color does not seep to the back of the cover. To print the design, I'm going to be using yellow, blue, green and magenta. I'll dip the sponge in the color and print on the cover creating a very random pattern. As I'm using only one capsicum, I'm going to wipe the color on the capsicum before starting each time with the next color. This is how my final cushion cover looks like. Did you think that capsicum print could turn out to be so good? For the cabbage block, I'm going to cut the base of the cabbage as it resembles an abstract flower, which works great to block print. Now on a paper, I'm creating a random patch with a brush all over using a peach color. Then put the orange color on the cabbage and print it all over like this. You can incorporate this design on almost anything. I have used this as a gift wrapping paper. Block printing isn't just limited to blocks. You can literally experiment with stuff around the house and explore some really cool designs and patterns. I hope you liked the video. Until next time, stay tuned and stay glamorous.